Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all a very quick update on Litecoin, guys. Right now we're at 115.94. And guys, I got to run here in probably about 5 or 10 minutes. So this is just going to be a quick one, a few things I want to go over. But overall, Litecoin is at a critical area right now, guys. There's a lot of bullish signs. There's a lot of bearish signs. There's a lot of mixed signals that are taking place right now. So guys, if you like these quick Litecoin up coin, I'm sorry, if you like these quick Litecoin videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you all being here with me today, and we're going to dig into this. So what I wanted to do, guys, is look at Litecoin on the four-hour for us. So we're really going to zoom in. We may get out to the day a little bit, but primarily I want to be in on the four-hour with you because that's where I've been trading. It's what I've been looking at, just looking at patterns, different things, and we're going to break a few down here. So what you're seeing here first I have an alarm up here at 119.89, and the reason why I have that, guys, that is above, right above those real body, that real body close right here. So that's the highest we pushed with the real body. We had some wicks that made it higher, but if I, I want an alert if we're going up above that, because most likely, guys, if we go up above that, we'll come up here and we'll test 125.51. That's going to be our next overhead resistance area. Okay, so that's my upside. Downside, I'm going to put an alarm here, guys. I want to know at about 113.53. Let me fire that up quick. And that right there, guys. Okay. So to the downside, what I'm looking at now, I want to see if we find any support off this 20 EMA. And what we had was a golden cross, guys. Do you see this 20 EMA crossing up above this 50 moving average here? And remember, this is on the four hour chart, and that helped push us up a little bit. So now we're going to see if that acts as support there if we do end up getting that low. But guys, we're also looking at the area we're at right now to see if we get some type of a bounce. Because do you see this area over here? So Oh, very strong overhead resistance we now want to turn as support guys so this would be a support area that we'd be looking at for around 115.11 right in that area there and if that happened guys what we would look for is big volume to come in so that we can push up above these areas here and make a move to that 125.51 so my upside targets guys we need to close up above that 119.89 then we can run 125.51 and to the downside I'm going to be looking basically where we're at guys right now to see if we get a bounce off that because of all this over here for support and then I'd be looking down to this 20 EMA and this 50 moving average as well and you guys have been paying close attention to these trend lines that I've been talking to you about so this was my first trend line and we broke down through it and you can see that nice fall here's the second trend line we broke down through you can see that big fall as well and this is a lot of percent fall here guys and that's why I want to play these okay now to the upside do you see that now what we'd be looking for, guys, is ultimately this 20 EMA, 50, the 100, and then this trend line. And this trend line, we found good support off it, so that was a very good thing. But what we saw here on the 4-hour, do you see all these wicks, so all this rejection, the bears jumping in right here? It also happened on a stochastic cross to the downside there on the 4-hour. So that's why I'm looking, guys. It's a key area we're at right now. If we get a bounce here, if we trace a little bit more where we're going to set a higher low before we potentially make a higher high, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, And we had big volume here as well with this doji candle, basically this indecision candle that we had up there with all those wicks. So we're looking at that. Next thing what I want to do with you guys is just go out to the one day real fast. And I apologize for my computer, guys, if you can hear the computer fan. I've been looking through a lot of charts today. It's been on. It's been running hard. So just bear with me here. All right. So, guys, on the one day, we close ever so slightly up above right here. So it looked like we could have got some type of a follow through, but that was not happening. Today, more so, we have to wait for the close, but we're forming more so of a doji candle right there. And that's showing that indecision. So we're going to see if this is the top here. So almost like a double top and we start pulling back onto this trend line. Or if, guys, this is just a quick little hesitation like you see here. So we pushed up, had a slight little hesitation candle one or two days. Typically, guys, sometimes even up to three, you can see right here, three days. And then you push up again. So that may be the case as well. And that's why I have that alarm at 113.53. All right. Now let's put on our stochastic RSI and take a look on the one day, see how we're looking. So guys, we had a great cross here, and that was that move up off the 20. We had a nice close off the 20 there, so that acted as good support. And on the one day here, we're still just moving up, guys. And what I'll do, though, I'll click through the time frames. Now I'll go to the 12 and see what it's looking like. It's looking like it almost kind of wants a bearish cross up there. Then I'll take it to the 8-hour. 
eight hour we're starting to get a bearish cross we're at 92 and 94 so it's looking like there could be more of a pullback and then four hours we'll go back to that one more time and guys we had that cross and we're at 75 and 81 so those are the key areas that I'm gonna be looking at I'm gonna be zoomed in on them I got my alert alarm I'm sorry guys alerts here to the upside and to the downside and this is where I would put them if I were you just so you know if we make a move out of here all of a sudden we have another little slight move up there to maybe challenge that 125 or if we just start to dump back down and then we start looking at these moving averages as support so that's what I'm looking at guys just wanted to bring you a quick one here God bless each and every one of you take care my friends